I'm here to show you calculations in Access. This is a query that's been run. The only criteria is we're trying to find everybody in the first quarter. We want to do calculate fields. They're going to be done in the query, in a form, and in a report. So to do the first one, I'm in a blank column to the right of all the criteria. There's several ways of doing this. What I find personally the easiest is to just type it in. So we're doing a new field called fee. I type in fee, follow it by a colon. What it is, I'm multiplying number in the party by the per person charge. If you're going to type it, you've got to be extremely accurate. I don't need to put in brackets because there's no blank spaces. The brackets show up. I run it. It shows the fee. If I want to make it look like currency, I right click on the column, click on properties, and I make it currency. And by default, it's two decimal points. Run it, save it, close it. I want to talk about a form. And you can base a form on a query. So I click on rates, doing it the easy, simple way. I click on form. It shows it. I don't need that. I close it out. What I want to do, I want to put in the tip. Uh, because we're charging, let's say, 17% service charge. I go into the design view. We don't have room for the calculation. I just pull this down a bit. So we're in the design view. Leave everything alone up there. You've got a text box, a label. It's not what you think it was with PowerPoint or Word with a text box. I click on the text box. I draw a rectangle here. You get two things in here. One is like the label, which I just go in here and type in tip. I do a calculation. This is 17% of the fee. I click in there. And just like Excel, you begin with equal. You're working with cell references now. I mean field names times point one seven hit the enter key I go into the form view it says 595 I want to make it look like currency I need to name the field also right click properties I'm on the all box I'm gonna see see where it says text 23 it always puts an arbitrary name give it a name it's called tip it shows the formula I'm gonna make it currency view it I have it it's over there if I want to get this aligned I just pull this in a bit you can work with alignment I'm working on formulas at this point so you got the 595 I save I'm gonna call this form rates close this out we're gonna create a report based on the form rates because it has that new field in there I click on report we can we're in the layout view I want to be able to read this a little better and I could just pull these in a bit oh got those orange things here go over to here you've got the fee um, unfortunately 
the report doesn't pick up the tip that we could did in the forms. So I'm going to recreate it again. Go into the design view. I got a little bit done. I'll show you a little bit more in a second here. So I just type in equal fee times 0.17. Put a label at the top. You'll see more explanation in a minute. So I'm going to go over here. We have to do a couple of more calculations. We want to know the tax that we're charging on the fee as well as the total. So to do this, we're going to create a calculated field. We go into the text box. I draw one here. You get this label. We don't want it here. Delete it. Click on it. So I go into here. It's equal tip. I'm sorry. Fee times let's say our tax is seven and a half percent we go click outside of it we need a label at the top we click on the AA I'm go now when I do this, I've got to name these fields to work with this. So what I do, and I want to make it look like currency, properties. It says text, type in tax, make it currency. And then we go over into this one here. This was never named. A lot of people forget to put this in. You gotta name it tip. And then I'm gonna save this. We're gonna look at this in print preview. Scroll over. It's showing the numbers. I have to make the tip currency. And so I scroll over here. It says currency. to save print preview it's not showing I want to print this design view go into here fee this is whoops right here currency here. What I'm going to do, close this out. I'm going to do another one. Sometimes you have to close out of the report or whatever it is and reopen to see how it works. Last thing I want to do is the total. So to do that, I click on the text box. Delete this and it's going to be equal fee plus tip plus tax label in the page header section and I type in total right click properties total okay this has all the tip doesn't have watch this save the rates report Open this up, scroll over, the tip still doesn't have it. I'm going to go back into the design view, tip, right click, 
properties no currency in here you got to look at your work while you're doing this um, patience also everything has you want to get fit on the page last thing layout view you could just narrow columns like I could change the text in here make it smaller make the column narrower V tip I over here just move it over I clicked in the top held down the shift key pull this in a bit narrow the column and we pull this over if I just click here didn't pull that click here it'll take a few minutes to get it on the page wanted to show you the formulas.